for us to do a little segment that I like to call Phil's Day Off. Because, ladies and gentlemen, we got a lot to talk about. Phil's Day Off was a very busy day yesterday. Well, my day off was a busy day yesterday. I don't know who this Phil character is I'm talking about in the third person. Um, yesterday, I had to go about and do all the last-minute things for Christmas. That meant grocery shopping, including, uh, you know, shopping for our holiday meal on Sunday. We finally determined what we're going to do. <clears throat> I got some stuff for Jasper Kitty for, for Christmas. Also, I set up for the WWE Sim matches, which we're going to talk about in a minute. All right, so we got a lot to talk about on the Phil's Day Off segment. And after that segment... I'm going to show you the holiday liquor that we'll be drinking tomorrow. Ooh. Yummy. Okay. So, yesterday, what was I up to? Well, my wife and I sat down and made our list of what we're going to eat on Christmas Day. And it's completely different. We have never done anything like this before. We're going to do a roasted chicken. A whole roasted chicken. Okay? Okay. So traditionally on Christmas, you'd have a turkey, you'd have a ham. We're going to do a roasted chicken. Why not? So how are we going to do it? Well, my wife is going to, I believe, like baste it and also like cover it in spices. So I ended up getting a whole big roasted chicken. All right. And I bought two different kinds of seasoning. I think one is called like Montreal chicken seasoning. And another was called like, like, I think it was like garlic something I don't even know I bought two different kinds of seasoning and basically I don't know you know what's gonna taste better so she's gonna be you know tasting it smelling it and seeing oh this is probably better for chicken and you know season the chicken it's gonna be roasted in the oven um all day long basically okay so that's cool I never had like a slow roasted chicken in the oven a whole chicken like that since I was like a kid basically uh, you know, you have, you know, some thighs or legs or whatever. But to have the whole chicken is kind of cool. All right. Um, sides. Well, we're going to have homemade sweet potato mash. Bought a bunch of sweet potatoes. Man, the sweet potatoes were huge. I mean, I'm not even kidding. They were like this big. Like ginormous pounder, two pounder potatoes. So you're going to be making some sweet potato mash with, you know, cinnamon and other seasonings in there. Um, green beans, which is yummy. Some stuffing now. We opted to just do the stovetop stuffing because we're already going to be doing so much other food and it's Christmas Day. You don't want to do that much. Yeah, just do stovetop stuffing. That's easy. Just stir it right in the pot and make it up in like 10 minutes, 5 minutes, whatever it is, you know. And stovetop stuffing is good. I used to have it as a kid. We got the chicken flavor to match the chicken, so it should be yummy. And uh, cranberry sauce, which, you know, not a lot of people think about cranberry sauce at Christmas, but we like this so much at Thanksgiving. Just, yeah, get another, get another jar of the jellied cranberry sauce. So that's going to be our Christmas spread. Um, good amount of food. And uh, we're, we're excited because really the only complex thing there uh, is really the chicken. that has to cook all day, you know, slow roast it in the oven. But outside of that, everything else should be pretty straightforward um, and not a big deal. So that's our Christmas feast. And when I got all that yesterday, um, what else? Geez, what else did I do? So I went to the pet store and I was basically looking for Christmas presents for Jasper. I was like, what would Jasper like for Christmas? Now, every week we get him these wet treats, which are... A combination like broths, stews, sometimes a bisque. And what it is, it's like a puree of seafood. He loves seafood. Sometimes it's like tuna, shrimp, salmon, that kind of stuff. Whitefish, that kind of stuff. We give him one a day. That way he has some liquid in his diet. And other than that, he likes to eat a lot of his dry food, which is a high-protein mix that includes a lot of salmon. So we already give him... Um, we already gave him this kind of stuff every day. Like, what would you give him as an extra treat? Sometimes we'll give him, like, a temptation. You have his little bite-sized treats. He thinks they're okay, but he's not a, a high-snacking cat. He's just not. So I was like, well, maybe I should give him some new toys. But the thing is, traditionally, when we buy Jasper toys, they always get lost. You know, cat toys, typically, when you buy cat toys, they're small. They give you a little, little ball or a little mouse or whatever. It's really small. It's the size of a quarter, right? So the cat bats it around for five minutes. Next thing you know, it went under a door. It went under the couch. He'll never see it again until we clean the house, which how often are we going to lift the couch and clean the house? Like once once every two weeks or so? So he doesn't get to see, you know, have, have his toys just zoop, gone immediately. So I'm looking around the pet store and I'm like, I want to get him something that he's going to like, but at the same time, he's not going to lose right away because I feel bad whenever we give him a new toy and he's gone within minutes, okay? 
So I ended up actually getting them two things. The first thing I got them was another version of a toy he had already had. You know, I was like fishing for kitties. I used to have a toy in here with little streamers on it, and I would go like this, and he would jump after it, and I'm fishing for kitties. Basically, I got a new version of that. His old version is completely disintegrated. He ripped every ribbon off of it. He ate the feather off of it. It was like, it's, it's, you know, we had to throw it out. So I basically got a new one. Um, so that way we can, you know, play with him with that. But I ended up getting him something. Basically, I was like, I know what he likes, okay? First of all, he likes catnip. We all, we, he loves catnip, okay? It's one of the things that, that he absolutely adores. We don't give him to him every day, but we like having things, you know, with it, like a toy or something. Number two, he likes toys that make a crinkle sound. If it goes crunch, he likes that, okay? Number three, he likes a toy that's small enough to bat around. If you get him a giant toy, I mean, he'll snuggle it for a little bit, and then he'll usually leave it, but he likes something he can, like, bat around and move around. And number four, and this is probably, I'd say, almost the most important, he likes a toy that has that mesh-like texture to it. You know what I mean? It's made of that fabric that has holes in it, so that way, if he bites it with his teeth, or he uses back feet. He is declawed. We rescued him. He was already declawed when we rescued him. But he has back claws. And what he actually likes to do, he likes to take a cat toy, and he pushes it to the center of his body, and he picks up his feet, and he kicks at the toy with his back, back feet like a soccer ball. So it's like, funny. He likes to dig into toys with his back feet only. Okay? So if it has the mesh, he can feel that mesh texture against his claws, and he really, really likes that. Okay? So, I was thinking, can I find something that's the best of all worlds? So, catnip, crinkle sound, large so it doesn't go under the sofa, right? But also has, a, like, a mesh texture to it. I found something. Now, I would show it to you, except we spoiled Jasper and gave it to him yesterday. Alright? And Jasper loves the toy we got him. We got him a pickle. <laughs> it's big. It's, like, this big. Okay, and it's kind of chubby, but it's furry on one side and it has the mesh on the other side. It has a crinkle sound, and he loves it. He is playing with it. He is laying down with it. Last night, he was between us on the couch, and I put it next to him, and he snuggled his new toy on the couch, which was adorable. All right, he liked it so much, I brought it upstairs into the bedroom so he could sleep with it, and he never does anything like that, and he was snuggling his new toy in bed last night as well. So obviously, it was a hit. It's basically like everything he likes in one, which is good, and it's also big enough that he decides to bat it around. It's not going to go under a sofa. It's not going to go under a chair. So there you go. It's actually, uh, uh, it says written on it, I'm kind of a big dill. There you go. So anyway, he really loves his Christmas toy, all right? And we spoiled him with it. I'll probably, what I'll do is I'll bring out the other, the streamer thing. I'll probably bring that out on Christmas and play with him for a while uh, with that. So he'll still get something on Christmas, specific to Christmas. Okay. Um.